Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. You may have seen this truck floating around on the web. It's the prototype Toyota Tacoma X Runner. Now, I'm going to pull it up. We're going to take a look at it because, frankly, I'm curious to see what it's all about. I've had a few people ask me if I'd be interested in it or what I thought about it. So let's take a look. I know nothing about it, so I'm going to learn with you guys right now. It says here it's an extended cab. So it's not the double cab. Ah, that might be okay, although really we know the extended cab, there's not much use for the back except for storage. Rear wheel drive, so it's not four wheel drive. Lowered truck, and it's powered with a 421, I'm liking that, horsepower version of the Tundra's twin turbocharged 3.4 liter V6 engine. So in essence, what they've done is they've taken the Toyota Tundra engine and stuck it into the Tacoma, and that thing must fly. Now, I'll show you. You can see here what it looks like. Uh, it is pretty aggressive looking. There is a lot of stuff. I mean, it's quite bulky on the front, right? Now, let's go ahead and just run through this. It says, Toyota is bringing back the Tacoma X-Runner, well, in concept form anyway. Uh, the concept truck sits at a, on a widened track and featured a, features a lowered suspension. Not surprising there. Uh, the truck is powered by the engine that I just went through, although we're going to add the pound-feet of torque at 479. Not too bad. Uh, Toyota likes to emphasize the off-road chops of its Tacoma mid-sized truck, but this decidedly street-oriented concept truck uh, was at the SEMA uh, show in Vegas. Now, it is a street truck. It's not uh, an off-road truck. So I suppose a lot of the uh, uh, mall crawler uh, dislikers out there wouldn't be interested in this truck because it is not an off-road truck. It is designed for on-road driving. There's a picture of it uh, from the rear. Uh, it looks kind of square back there. I don't know, with these effects and things that they've put on it. It says, to go on, the X-Runner concept features a version of the larger Tundra's twin turbo 3.4 liter V6. We've got the specs again. They seem to be really stressing the specs on the engine, which is good, I guess. And they say that's a big increase over the 2024 Tacoma's most powerful setup, which is 326 horsepower, and it's a four-cylinder hybrid. It says, a solid axle from the Tundra with a 430 uh, to one, final drive, and an electronic locking differential splits torque to the rear wheels. So we're gonna, we would have power on both of the rear wheels, right? The exhaust pipe now routes just uh, below the rocker panels on the side of the truck. Still have a side e exit exhaust. I would prefer that it exited out of the rear, but you know. Here's a look at the interior. Uh, pretty sharp. Those seats look pretty comfy. I think I would dig those. I uh, wonder if they're available for the current model or the non-X-Runner model. Now let's see. It goes on to talk about having an air suspension uh, from the Tundra that uh, Toyota says helps the Tacoma ride at a lower height and, while still being able to carry a load. So they still want you to actually be able to use this truck as a truck, at least for hauling apparently. The truck rides uh, on a set of Lax Enterprise 21-inch carbon fiber wheels. Those will cost you. Uh, and for, with forged aluminum centers. And they're going to have, or it would have, if this thing ever comes to fruition, Michelin 285-45 R21 Sport tires. I wonder if that means they're going to be or would be like summer tires, you know, with all the extra grip and all that stuff. I don't know. And 21-inch... Let's go back up and uh, look at that thing from the side. Uh, that's a big honking tire. Uh, that's a big honking wheel. Uh, Going to be hauling around normally a lot more weight, but since we've got a carbon fiber option on here, it would appear that uh, that's not going to be an issue at all. Now, as far as the appearance of this truck, whew, I don't know, man. It... Uh, it, it kind of almost looks like it's too much, you know, like they really went overboard with the design on this. As far as 
all of the extra uh, add-ons. And by that, I mean all of the body panels and fender flares and all of that kind of stuff. This even has, I believe, a functional hood scoop. I'm not a big fan of the way the hood scoop looks, honestly. It's too rectangular, too squarish. I'd like to have it more integrated into the hood as opposed to what we've got here. I do like the black uh, accenting or the blackout that they've put on it, both on the hood and then going down and looking at the side or rear view shot. Looks like it carries right on up across the, uh, the roof. I think that's a pretty good look. Got to cut some glare down on that hood, too. After having my electric line Tacoma for a while now, you can certainly see that uh, they've done something to reduce glare on this truck. Talking about that rear end again, man, I don't know. It just, I think it could do better if it didn't have that trim piece across the back. Or maybe it needs to be more integrated, more rounded. I think they really were going for maybe a throwback kind of square-bodied look for this truck. And I'm not a big fan of it. I guess I prefer more curves and stuff like that as opposed to that rounded or a square area they have across the back. It just doesn't get it for me. And it makes the rear end look really wide. Not a big fan of that. Otherwise, I mean, I dig the color. I think that's a good color for the truck. I like that they've got blacked out mirrors here as well. You know, I've done that on my trucks uh, the last two or three that I've had. I've gone with that, what I think is kind of a, an, a European look uh, for the mirrors in the form of blacking them out. And I think it looks really sporty on the truck. Now, one other thing I want to mention, this thing is low. If you look at the uh, the distance between the bottom of the, I guess, bumper treatment they have on the front versus the ground, uh, it only looks to sit maybe six to eight, nine inches off the ground, something like that, and that might be pushing it. So even though they've designed it, I guess, as a mall crawler type vehicle, you're going to have problems if this thing ever comes out and you can actually find one. But you're going to have problems going up and down those divots into the mall or the McDonald's. You know what I mean? It's going to scrape and scratch and maybe even tear all that extra plastic they put on the truck off. Now, my verdict on this truck, eh, it's it doesn't really get it for me. I love the horsepower and torque. I love that they're they're even talking about putting a bigger engine in a Tacoma. Uh, let's be honest, though. Is this thing ever going to happen? I would be shocked if they ever did it. It's just a concept vehicle, a prototype, if you will. Um, I don't think it's ever going to happen. But even if it did, probably would not be a truck for me. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know. Does this get it for you? Would you be jonesing to grab this truck if they actually decided to produce it and a normal person could actually buy it? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.